x cubed y cubed z squared. Let's do the square root of this. If we're doing a square root, then we need two of a kind. How many x's do you have here? If it's cubed, then that means you have three x's. If this is cubed, that means you have three y's. This is squared, so we have two z's. All of that is underneath a square root. The square root wants two of a kind, and if you have those two of a kind, you get to go outside of the square root. This one has two, so it goes out. This one has two, so it goes out. That's going to leave this letter inside and the y inside. So outside of this root of this radical, we can take out a single x, a single y, and a single z. And what's left inside is that blue part, the x and the y. They didn't have enough multiplication happening for them to get out of the square root. Let's see how that would be with the cube root. The cube root of 32x squared times x. So let's break down the 32. The only way we can get this 32 out is by finding what factors it has. 32 is 2 and 16, 2 and 8, 2, 4, 2, 2. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 2 to the 5th power, x to the 3rd power, because these two will add, and we're doing a cube root. The cube root means we need 3 of a kind. If we expand this number 2, we have 5 of them. If you expand the x, we have 3 of them. We need 3 of a kind to come out. I have a single set of three twos, so I have a single two that can come out, and I have three x's, so I have a single x that can come out. These two twos are going to stay, so you can write two times two, but really this means two x times the square root of, this is supposed to be a cube root, times the cube root of four. If it was the square root, then these would also come out, but since it's the cube root of what's inside here, this 4 has to stay because it doesn't, there is no way to split this 4 into three numbers. They're clean numbers. The fourth root of 13 times 3 times 4 times 8 times x cubed times y squared times x squared. Let's start by, mm, let's break the 4 down, let's break the 8 down. That's a 2, that's a 2, and the 8 becomes three twos. Now let me write these regular numbers, because you keep the regular numbers separate from your variables. The regular numbers are 2 to the 5th power times 3 times 13 times x to the 5th power times y squared. These are all under a fourth root. The fourth root wants 4 of a kind. How many twos do you have here? You have five. So instead of expanding it like I was in the last examples, you can just say this four is going to cancel out. It's going to grab four of these five twos. We can take four of those and pull them out as a single two. Five minus four is going to leave a single two inside. These two have to stay, the 3 and the 13. They don't have a large enough exponent to be removed from the radical. x to the fifth power, that's x, 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 x. There's five x's. So I can take four of these and take them out as a single x. And that's going to leave a single x inside. y squared is not large enough to be removed from this radical. So I'm gonna to have to keep the y squared inside, and this was a fourth root. Let's combine these regular numbers by multiplying them. Two times three makes six. Six times 13. Is it 78? Six times 13 is 78. 
So the 2x was outside. We have the fourth root of 78xy squared. Being able to do it this way without expanding the numbers might take some more practice and maybe someday you'll get here. I did want you to know that this method exists. If you have a fourth root, that means you can take any power of four and pull it out as a single number. And let me just show you one more example of what would happen if you have multiple of the same thing that can come out. Let's do 64 square root x to the 6. We're doing a square root of 64 x to the 6 power. 64 is 2 and 32, and 32 is 5 of the number 2. This is x to the 6th power. We'll leave it like that. The square root of 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6th power, x to the 6th power. We're doing a square root, but we have 6 of the number 2 and 6 of the letter x. So that means how many sets of 2 can you pull out from here? How many groups of two can you get out of these six twos? I'll expand it so you can see it, but really, it's gonna be three. Two, 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 three. We have a pair, a pair, a pair, a pair, a pair, and a pair. So everything had a pair so that means we get a pool a two, a two, a two, and these are all multiplying because they're multiplying inside. They have to still multiply when they're outside. And I'm gonna get an X, an X, and an X. I don't have any space over there, so I'm gonna put it over here. That's two times two times two times X times X times X. And there was nothing left inside besides the number one. And the square root of 1 is 1, so the square root is gone. The square root gave us this answer. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8x cubed. So that means it's OK if you have a higher power, as long as you pull out groups that are the size of that exponent, a pair, a pair, a pair. If this was a cubed, then you would make groups of three and three, and that would have been two groups, and this would have also been two groups, and that would have changed the answer. But whatever the radical is, that's how many of the kind you need, and every time you have that size happen, it's gonna go in front and it's gonna multiply. Okay, you should be able to do everything with a radical besides add them, subtract them, and possibly multiply them. But we can save that for another day.